Okay, my name is Sarah Kirk. I am a, um, I'm a recovering addict who came to Rochester, Minnesota through, um, through some, some treatment programs. And, and, um, and when I arrived in Rochester, I was informed that I needed to get connected with community and I needed to start looking for a job. Well, my fears and insecurity kind of held me back from going and pursuing a regular wage job. And, um, and so I came down here to Salvation Army and, and filled out an application for a volunteer position and, um, and found myself being a part of like this family here um, and in such a productive way that gave me such purpose and, uh, and a connection that I, 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 would, I would say that, that my time here is probably the most valuable time I have spent so far in my recovery. I would walk here, so this is before I was a driving person again, um, I would walk here I have four to five days a week and volunteered it during the lunch and then um, and I did that for more than a year just to give you a, you know how many hours that was I don't know I, I didn't really it wasn't important to me the amount of hours it was just a, it was a regular contact with the community that really made a difference and so the community that comes in on a regular basis you get to know them you see them you care like when you see somebody having a rough day I know their name now because I see them on a regular basis. How is it going? What's, you know, you want to talk for a minute? Or, or just, you just would like a dinner roll. Okay, <laughs> whatever it is, you know. Um, yeah, it is, it is me. I still stop in. I, 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 my, I, have, a, I have a paid position now in life and, and, and so I, I, need to, I need to go work for a living. But um, when, when the opportunity comes about and I, and I have time where I can come by in my day, I would definitely do and I stay connected and it's a very comfortable feeling to walk back in the doors and, and have to be embraced by the staff here and, and, and I get hellos from the people that, that I, I had the opportunity to serve. It's, it's really cool. So now I, um, I, work for, I work for a local gym and I take care of kids, which is kind of, it's a lot of fun. And that kind of, it is a lot of fun. Um, I live now in Pine Island. I have a home in Pine Island. I have, I have um, made amends for the, some of the, the financial things that I, the wreckage of my past, if you will, and I'm, I have the privilege of driving a car that I, that I was able to save money and pay for. Um, the, what the process of me doing that was is I lived in sober living for almost two years of my sobriety. So it took me a while. In order, it was a very, very much a step thing. You know, they talk about in recovery, we talk about taking steps. Um, and mine was, they were slow steps. But they were, but they're. I have they have staying power in my life. So um, I'm engaged to be married, and I have a relationship with my daughter, which is amazing, and um, and with my mother and sister, and those are my living relatives. So that is um, that that are, these are all blessings of, of of my time here and and my and the and the in the restart of my life. Anyone who I have had the opportunity to work with in recovery, because that's what I do now, is um, you know, at a certain point, you, we, we keep what we have only by giving it away. And so by giving it away, I, I, I talk about the things that have helped me, and, um, and this is one of the stepping stones. And I, and I make that suggestion if you're not ready to go to take a 9 to 5 job or you know, to, to walk your name in, with an application into different places of employment, walk down to the Salvation Army. Be of service. You, you know, you wouldn't believe how valuable pushing a broom can be. If you're interested in the word, if you're interested in a lunch, if you're interested in just some support or fellowship, this is a, a great place to be, a safe place to be. If you, there's, there's, a, there's a person here that addresses pretty much every need that, uh, that somebody can have.